New tonight, questions are being raised about passenger safety at TF Green Airport. We're learning about a recent grievance filed by the union that represents TF Green Airport police officers. That complaint claims air travel is up, but officer staffing is down. I would assume reporter Steve Nielsen is breaking down the claims and why the union says staffing levels are unsafe. Steve? Oh, Mike Shannon, there is a staffing battle brewing this summer. The union says the staffing is unsafely low, putting the public at risk. Today, in a letter obtained in the last few hours, the chief of airport police says not only are they not understaffed, if anything, he writes they're overstaffed. It's been constant. New flights coming and going at a TF Green Airport. Just this year, add Toronto, North Carolina, Austin, Miami, maybe even London. Year-over-year -year data reveals in January a 17% increase in flyers. February, a 25% increase, 12% in March, and 22% in April. I gotta tell you, things are getting tight around here. And all those new travelers have the airport police union concerned. Eyewitness News just obtained a grievance filed last month. The union says the public is at risk. Staffing is unsafely low. The union president says they need to hire more officers because some officers are on medical leave and other positions have been unfilled. So we took that to the airport corporation to find out if travelers are unsafe. And they gave us this letter the chief sent back to the union disputing it all. He writes the airport is actually overstaffed, saying their 27 officers puts them in the 80th percentile of airports. Another argument, while the number of flyers has increased, the chief shows arrests are down at the airport from 37 in 2014 to 23 last year. And in that letter, the chief says it cost the airport corporation $200,000 in salary and benefits for every officer they hire. And he says staffing more officers is not a good use of public funds. Neither side would answer our questions on camera. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.